Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana here. If you're new, I love to make weekly videos on tips and tricks on growing your online business, creating awesome digital products using Canva, and growing an empire and do the things that you love and enjoy. If those topics are of any interest to you, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification right next to that to be alerted when I put out new videos. This video is all about how to create and sell Canva templates. I absolutely love Canva. I will say that a million times over. It, it's so user friendly and it's very intuitive. Anybody can learn Canva really quickly. It's just an awesome interface. And next week I will do a full tutorial on Canva, but this week I wanna show you how to share the template that you create. Now you have to do this in Canva Pro, which is a paid version of Canva, but I promise you it's well worth it. So if you want to trial Canva, go down to the link below, you'll get a free 30 day trial on your Canva. So I'm gonna take you straight to my Canva Pro account and I'm gonna show you how you can get started on creating, oh, there's a bug. <laughs> how you can get started on creating a Canva template and then how to share it. And then I'm also gonna show you how I share that with my customers, whether it's on a marketplace like Etsy, uh, TPT, or something like Shopify if you have your own website. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, hopping over to my Canva Pro account. Here it is, and this is the home page of Canva right now. Now you can see all of the templates that Canva already offers, which I love. It's a really good starting point if you want to create something. And if you scroll through here, there's Instagram posts. So you can always create something like an Instagram post template. So let's click on this one. And this is already preloaded for you for the size of, of Instagram. And as you see, you see the blue squares around each text box and around each element, you can move those around. But I really want to point out that if you are selling a Canva template, it's not, it's not good to assume that they have the Canva Pro account. So a way you can make it free is to go up here. As you saw, I just put, I put the filter on free and you can see if you hover over the element, it'll say free. Um, and if it's, if it's something they have to pay for, if they're not a Canva Pro member, uh, then you'll see this crown that says pro, and that's what you want to avoid. If you make a template for someone, you want to make it free for them so they don't have to pay these extra fees. You know, it's it, it would be nice if everybody had Canva Pro, but you can't always assume that. So you want to make sure that all the elements that you use in your template are free. And if they want to change it to something that's pro and they want to upgrade to pro, that's their choice. But this won't nickel and dime them if you just set up everything for free right out the gate. So let's talk more about the design portion of your template. Now, if you go over to the left, you can see there are more templates to choose from. You can select a different template. You can move these elements around if you want. You can change the text. It's, it's very user friendly and very easy to understand and intuitive. So like you see me moving it around. Um, so this looks grouped right now, but let's look at styles real quick. You can pick different color schemes and if you click on it and push shuffle, you'll see that it changes the color scheme for all different ones to see which ones work best for you, which ones you like. I love that because you can change it really easy and quickly with just a click of a button. And now I hit back because um, I, don't, I don't like the color that I chose. This one's a cool one too, or it'll change everything, change even the text. So yeah, really neat way to change something with one click of the button so drastically. So like, like I said, these were grouped together. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna hit ungroup so that we can change each element or each text box to whatever we need to do. So I'm gonna go to text and you can select the other ones that they've already combined for you if you wanna change the whole look of it or select the box, one box and change the font of one text box. So I'm gonna change this one to a Canva Pro text called Joshiko. It's really big, but like you can see, it's, it's versatile and you can pretty much do anything with this design program. I just love it so much. So I'm gonna go back to the elements and I'm gonna click in watercolor or type in watercolor. 
And let's see, look, so the, a lot of these are pro, so you have to be really careful and you want to select the free one. But you can change the color scheme of the watercolor elements. That's what I love about elements. Now, there's some elements that you can change the color of, like this one. Um, I selected this one, and you can see the little box up in the uh, top left corner. It had uh, an option to change the color. Now I'm going to add another page. And so if you want to make a bigger template where you want multiple pages for these people to choose from, and as you can see, I'm up here at the templates again. I'm going to choose this one because it's cute, and I can change it very easily. So I already clicked the whole background and I can change those dots uh, to green or any color you choose. What I love about this is you can delete the whole grid, which is this image and the image that you insert. And what you can do is you can simply just drag and drop whatever image you want in there and it'll show up. So it's great for people who just want to plug and chug their information in their picture. Now on to the best part where it is sharing your template. So I go up to share. And I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go share a link to use as template. Click that and then you're going to copy that link. Super simple, easy. And so now anybody that gets this link can come into this template and make a copy of it themselves and change it however they want. And pretty much the sky's the limit. Okay, so now that you figured out how to share, I want to show you now how I deliver that link to customers on Etsy or Shopify or in any other marketplace website that you use to sell your products. Okay, let's get started. So Shakaru, I'm back in Canva, but this Canva template is one I created for my customers uh, so that they can they can get not only get the template link they purchased, but also to understand Canva a little bit more so that they're not so confused. So I made this template and you can change the color of it. You can do anything you want to with it. Um, you can add your logo. Yeah, it's just I, I absolutely love the versatility of this program. So anyways, I can I'm just going to keep saying awesome things about it. <laughs> it's just how it goes. But you can change the text here. And so like I wrote Etsy, TBT, and website email. This is how they can contact you. And you know, just want to describe what Canva's all about. What I love is you can add the link here. So your contact info, you can add the link. So if you're an Etsy messenger or an Etsy shop, you can link your Etsy shop right there. Your contact information link, <laughs> whatever that may be, you can add that right here. Okay, and you hit apply and then it, it makes it a link for you. So usually what I like to do is I like to add the photo of what they purchased. So just for confirmation, right? And so I do that by going over to my uploads and this is one of the products I sell in my Etsy store called Dana Mox. And it's just a size and color chart of an anvil or I'm sorry, next level t-shirt. So I'm just going to center that. You can also go to position and hit center and bam, that's what I want. So I have here, click the edit and Canva green buttons. You can also um, make sure that they go to Canva first and sign up. So canva.com, I just put that link here, go sign up here before you go and edit. And then now I'm going to add in the link for this Canva template. So you're going to highlight the text and then I'm just going to use this template here to show you since we're here. Um, so if you were using another template, go to that and go to share, use this template, copy the link, and then you can go up to this link and copy and paste that, apply, and voila, you're done. You have now successfully delivered that link to your customer and you can upload this PDF to whatever you want. You can change the color of any of these. Uh, this is completely free for you to use and make it your own. Uh, obviously for Canva tutorials, you're going to add your own Canva tutorial videos. I love going to YouTube and finding the best Canva tutorial and again, linking that here. And that's as simple as that. You just link whatever you can find and you can change, you can change whatever you want to right here too. You don't have to have it say that. And then I kind of have it written out too. Some people do better with written instructions rather than visual instructions and yeah so you can edit that here I kind of just put the basic information there and then also back to contact 
details. So this is, this is a great template to use in your own shop. It's completely free. If you go down to the link in the description, you can have it. Now, when you're ready to share it, I go to PDF print, which is suggested, should suggest it anyways, and I'm gonna download both pages. So let's download that now. Okay, and I'm gonna open it and show you how there's a link already attached to it because we put it in there. So right here, if I hover over, you can see I can click. It's a clickable link. Same with Edit and Canva, and it'll take them straight to your Canva template. It's that simple, you guys, and it's that awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. The PDF I'm working on right this instance can be yours for free. All you have to do is subscribe to my email list below and you will get this Canva template on how to use Canva for free. So you can give it to your customers and you don't have to do any of that work other than uh, putting in your own links and uh, Canva videos for your customers, okay? If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I will be here next week showing you how to do a complete Canva tutorial. I probably should have done that before this video, but I don't know. None of this stuff really plans out for me. I'm just so scatterbrained. Anyways, I'll see you next week and I hope you have a good one. Bye guys.